Antique Ganesha Sculpture for sale. Starting on this video, I will be featuring antiques that are for sale. It's because recently, I noticed that, we have a number of audiences, who are antique collectors. So if you have an antique that you are trying to sell, I can feature them out, similar to what I am about to show you. Further details, and instructions, are discussed at the end of this video. On this video, we have here an antique sculpture of, Ganesha, which is a well-known deity, as the Lord of Obstacles, the Lord of Beginnings, and the Lord of Good Fortune. On some sources, Ganesha, is also referred as, Ganesh, and Ganapati. At this point, let's use his name Ganesh, because it is a lot easier for me to pronounce. As you can see, Ganesh, has the head of an elephant, with a human body. There is actually an interesting story, about why, he had an elephant head, where he wasn't born that way. A long time ago, there was a happy couple, that lived together, at, Mount Kailash. They were Shiva, and Favati, two of the most popular, and powerful gods and goddesses, of their time. Unfortunately, the happy moments of the two, was put on hold, when Shiva, was called away for a certain journey to complete. When Favati was left alone, she grew lonely. To comfort her loneliness, she wished for a son to care, play, and cherish. So through her powers, she had created Ganesh, out from simple materials, which were composed of sandalwood, turmeric, and, from the flesh of her own body. As a finishing touch, Ganesh came to life, through the use of the holy Ganges water. At this time, Ganesh had a normal human head, just like anybody else around. Time had passed, until the day, when Ganesh's father, Shiva had arrived home, from his long tiring journey. However, on that same day, Favati took a bath, and asked her son, to guard the door, of their house. She told him not to let anyone in, no matter who they were. Since Ganesh, and his father, Shiva, had never met before, both were strangers into each other's eyes. So the boy told Shiva, that he cannot enter, unless, he was given permission by his mother. Unfortunately, Shiva had a short temper, where he immediately got enraged, drawing his sharp sword out, and cut off the boy's head without any hesitation. Shiva's super strength, caused the boy's head, thrown into the far distant forest, while the body fell on the floor. When Favati heard the commotion, that was going on outside, she immediately rushed out from the bath to see her decapitated son. While she cried in floods of tears, she told Shiva that, he just killed their only son. Thus, she ordered her husband, to revive the boy. Shiva, was fully dismayed about what he had done, so he quickly went on the move, to bring their son back to life. Time was ticking, 
where he needs to find the boy's head, before his time runs out. Thus, he had sworn to himself to use the head, of any being that he will come across as a replacement. Shiva, rushed into the forest, to recover the boy's head. On his way, he never encountered any other beings, which he can take one of their head as a replacement. Even when he arrived at the place, where the boy's head has supposedly landed, it was nowhere to be found. As Shiva was about to lose hope, an elephant had suddenly appeared, out from the trees behind him. Having no other choice, Shiva had cut off the animal's head, and took it back to his house. Through his godly powers, he attached the elephant's head to the boy's body, and got him resurrected back to life. When Ganesh came back to life, his mother was overjoyed with so much happiness. Even though that, the head of her son was an elephant, that doesn't really matter to a mother, who really love her child so much. As for the father, he gained so much respect to his son, for his loyalty, and bravery, in guarding the door of their house. Thus, Shiva, had declared that his son Ganesh, must be worshipped with utmost priority than any other gods. Ganesh's Symbolism Ganesh's elephant head symbolizes strength and power. Ganesh's large ears represents that he listens to anyone who asks him for help. Ganesh's large head is a representation of his high intelligence and thinking ability. Ganesh's small mouth means that he listens more while he only talks less. Ganesh's one broken tusk is a representation of the good that is retained while throwing away the bad which is not needed. Ganesh's small eyes represent focus and concentration. Ganesh's large stomach symbolizes that he is capable of digesting all good things and bad things in life. Moreover, if you are interested in buying this antique sculpture of the deity Ganesh, then you can either contact me or the seller. The seller's contact information can be found at the description box. If you also have an antique that you would like to sell, which includes old coins, then we can showcase it the same way as I did on this video. Through this way, your item gets more publicity, allowing collectors to offer their best bidding prices. I do have some contacts to antique buyers and collectors. However, they really do not offer the best price for your items because they have no one to compete. So when they gave their price for your items, then that's it. Now, if you want me to showcase your antiques for sale, PM me several clear photos of your items, particularly, on all sides and angles. You can also choose to send a video. The photos, or videos, you provide will be used to showcase your item. Other than the photos, or videos, you may also want to include your contact info, that will allow interested buyers to communicate with you. Anyway, if you have any questions, with regards to this topic, then feel free to ask them.
on the comment form below. Moreover, have you enjoyed watching this video? If your answer is yes, and, you are new to my channel, then you may want to subscribe, and, hit the like button. You, are also free to share to your friends, or, to someone, who may find it helpful. If you prefer, a reading material, about treasure hunting, then, I recommend visiting my blogging website at, treasurehunt.club. Thank you very much for watching, and, happy treasure hunting.